Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully showing the version in our calculator UI. If I try to see here the output, we are able to successfully show this version 0.2. From where this version number is coming, as we already know in a previous video, we have created object getter property with the name version and this version whenever the user tries to call this version, we are executing this getter function and we are writing the 0.2. Now where from where we are calling in this main.js we have created a show version method in this this show version on window.load. So in the simple calculator here we are using this show version. Whenever the window is loaded we are calling this show version method. This will be in the main.js and here we are creating a calculator instance and we are catching the element with the, present with the id version and whenever we get this element if this element is found and we are updating the data, the data of that is the uh, data in the element with the calculator dot version. So this is the thing what we have done. Now for, uh, because of that one we are able to see this version. Now it's time for us to test this one whether it is working properly or not to write the test case for this version. So now if I try to go here so as this version show version is present in the main.js file. So where we need to write this test case. Exactly, we need to write it here main.spec.js file. So now here in this one, this is a very big test suite, okay, main.js file. And here we are having the calculate test suite. And in this one, we are having update result. But here wrong is there. So here this main.js test suite will we need to come down here. Yeah. So these are the two test suites that are present in the main.js file. That is one is one is the test suite for the calculate method and otherwise another one is the test suite for the update result method. Now we need to write the new test suite for the show, show version method. Why? Because so these are the three functions that are present in the main.js file. So for these two functions we have written the test suite. Now we need to return the test suite or write the test suite for the show version. Let's go here calculator.js file and here what we can do is so we need to write the test suite for this one right. So where is this one main.spec.js yeah. Here we need to write the test suite. So describe, okay, describe and here I need to write update result calculate is there, right? Show version. So this is the test suite I need to create. Show version and here this is the function I can write it and here what we need to do? We need to write the spec. We need to create a spec. It should call the show version method something like this i am creating and this one will be a function okay so that's it now we have written we have created a spec and the test suite let's try to execute this one if i go here and in this one if i try to execute at the bottom we are able to see show version and spec has no expectation so we need to create the we need to write the expectations here so done up to here it is finished now what i need to do is so we need to call this show version. Let's try to see that show version method. What is the logic implemented in that one? If I open this one, what is the first line it is doing? It is trying to create, it is trying to, what I can say, it is trying to call the new calculator. It is creating instance, calculator instance, okay. And here it is trying to catch the element, get the element which is having with an idea of version. So it is storing in the element variable. And if that element variable it is found means they are updating the data from in the element variable with the calculator dot version. It's simple. So now what we need to do here. So previously the update result is also one in the same only. So it is catching the element by ID with the result. And if element is there, we are updating the data in that element. The same, so one in the same logic is there. But here with the result, instead of updating with the result, it, we are updating with the calculator, calculator dot version. Now if you try to see here. So this update result, the code, if you try to see here, we have used the before all and after all functions, right? So we have used these two functions for create uh, in this one, what we are doing. So before executing the spec, we are creating the element and we are uh, attaching the IDA result and we are appending it to the body and we are taking that element. So after all completion of the spec and all those things, we are trying to clean that element and we are trying to remove that due with the ID result from the DOM element. So this is the old one, uh, this is not old one. So this one we have did it when we don't know about the spice. So now we know about the spice. So why can't we apply the, why can't we do the spy on, on this document dot get element by ID. 
so why i am doing this uh, spying on the document dot get element by id because get element by id is also a function which is present in the document object why can't we spy on this get element by id so uh, why can't we pretend that it as if we have uh, called this get get element by id and we'll create a spy thing so the later onwards we'll create we will we will write the we'll give the return value to this element so that element dot inner text is present so let's try to spy on this one so instead of having this uh, creating the element and doing all the messy thing so let's try to spy on this one so here spying on this one how we can do spy on document and in the document we need to spy on the method get element by id so we are spying on this element that's it now let's try to call the show version okay so without spying on this element if i try to run this show version we will try to see okay we are when we are trying to call uh, show version still it is working fine not a problem why because element is not there so that is the reason it is doing element element is, is unable to find it that is the reason it is trying to find it now if i do if i spy on this one so let's try to debugger here okay so now here if i try to debugger so let's try to debugger now here if we try to see the output let's inspect the element okay so when i am trying to refresh it again so we are getting the debugger here so element is undefined but so if i go here so it will not go into the if block so element as element is undefined it is not going to the if block so it should not get undefined so what we need to do which in, in order to not to get info, uh, undefined we somehow this document dot get element id should return a value so that should have inner text property why because we are trying to access this inner text property inside the element so what i can do here so we will pretend that to return the value we have you we have learned about this configuration thing and return value so and return value here what i can do is so here i am trying to return an object which is having in, inner text of null that's it right so oh sorry so not this one not, uh, this is not the way we need to write it so we need to write it in the main dot spec dot js so here we are spying and here i am writing this inner text so now this whenever we are trying to call this uh, show show version where we are spying on this get element by id and now this one is returning the value here in the inner text null so now let's try to see it. So if I try to refresh this page, so here we went to the debugger. Now if you try to see element, we are having inner text of null. So from where this one is coming? So we have spied on this document dot get element by id. Instead of executing this document dot get element by id, now what we have written the spy spy method. So that one is executing and the value that we are returning inner text null that is getting written here. Now if you go here, it is entering into the inner block. Okay. Now if you come here. so now inner text element dot inner text we got it updated with the 0.2 now we need to update this one calculator dot version so whether we can get it or not so now what what we need to do what we, what we have did here again we need to spy on this calculator dot version so why because so this calculator dot version is an external dependency so this is now we, as this one is an external dependency we are spying on this method and here we are also this is also an external dependency we know that it is not it is not a function it is a property okay so this is a property so previously how we can do so whenever we may have a method something like functions like this we have used this spy on thing okay we have used this spy on thing but here so as this one is an external dependency but it is a property so we cannot use this spy on thing we cannot use this spy on thing right so we need to use some other functionality some other function other than this spy on why because spy on functions on only uh, works on only functions So in the next video, what we will try to do is we will try to find the solution how we can spy on this property so that we whatever we will try to pass it so it that need to be get updated. So hope you understood about this one. So about this uh, writing the spying spying on this document or get element by ID and all those things without writing the before all and after all. So hope you understood about this one. So in the next video, we will see how to spy on this getter properties also. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you